Hello everyone, welcome to another SpaceX Updates video. Today, we have some exciting news from Starbase. The crews there are working hard to prepare for the upcoming Super Heavy Booster Static Fire Test. We noticed a promising sign as the scaffolding has been removed from the top of the launch mount, indicating progress on the OLM. Booster 9 is also making significant strides, having completed three cryogenic tests, with the latest one on July 23rd. It appears to be ready to ignite its engines soon. To ensure a successful static fire test, SpaceX conducted a full-pressure test on the newly installed flame deflector under the orbital launch mount. The water-cooled steel plates seem promising, but practical verification will happen during the actual test. Moving on to Starship developments, the hot staging parts spotted at the production site are now being assembled at Massey's site for a stress test with a can crusher. In other news, the construction of Mega Bay No. 2 is progressing, with the installation of the fifth and final level segments underway. Earlier today, SpaceX achieved another milestone with the successful launch of its 52nd mission of the year. The Intelsat Galaxy 37-Horizons 4 satellite was launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Four, three, two, one, ignition, and liftoff the Falcon 9. Go Falcon, go Galaxy 37. The first stage booster, B-1077, completed its sixth flight and safely landed on the drone ship, just read the instructions. Stage 1 landing confirmed. After 32 minutes into the mission, the Galaxy 37 satellite was successfully deployed into a geostationary transfer orbit. Galaxy 37 spacecraft separation confirmed. The view from the onboard camera on the second stage was breathtaking. That's it for now. Thank you for watching, as always. Starting from now, I'll be posting daily videos.